Good morning, it's Kay and it's Gogo and it's that time of the journey, food and we are in famous Kulcha land and I'm actually looking forward to this I am hungry because I had a really little breakfast today only for this and many more and we are so excited to be sharing some of Amrastar's favorite foods and we've come along to Kulcha land and as Gogo says, we're hungry. We're ready to eat. I don't know about you, but I am always hungry. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you and we know, know that. that. You know that. He only had six slices of toast for his breakfast. They were only tiny. You know, them tiny toast. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. They look very good. Very, very good. Wow. Oh, wow. So these are the dishes that go with the famous culture. Wow. Are you smelling the food? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking for that table as well at the same time. It's really busy in here. Yeah. Like proper busy. It's, it's always a good sign when the restaurant is busy. So we were recommended to come here and apparently it's one of Amherst's most famous places to come along and eat this dish. What have you got, boy? This is it. I'm the culture. I'm the culture. Yeah. This is what we came here for. Yeah, this is what we came here for. It's got potato inside, spring onions, ooh, butter on the top. It's crispy, tandoori baked. Looks and smells delicious. But you know me, I don't waste time for tasting the food. What I'm gonna go for plain first, as always. Wow, spicy! You can taste masala in it. That's as much as I know, as far as I know. But the pastry is crunchy. It's like puff pastry. So crunchy and so delicious and oily, as you can see my fingers. Buttery, yeah. Buttery, yeah, buttery. Mm. Now, I'm gonna dip my Amistari Kulcha in the chick, uh, chickpea curry. You know what? Chickpea curry has definitely got masala in it, but the lentil makes it so delicious. Lentil is makes a perfect combination with chickpea, and this is like heaven. And I'm gonna go for the spring onion chutney. That's it first. Mm, that looks so good. Wow. I need to confess something. I am not a huge chutney fan. But this. This is next, 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 next level chutney. Does it get an arm wrap? Hand yeah, up? definitely hand wrap, arm wrap, everything. <laughs> this chutney is so delicious. Wow, I can just eat that. I am looking forward to trying this. First, I'm going to taste the chickpeas. Spicy, but whatever spice is in there, absolutely delicious. It burns, but it's just dancing around in my mouth. Going in with this one here. Mm, buttery, flaky. Salty, crunchy. What more could you want? In between a pastry and also a bread. 
and let's go in with this homemade chutney. Spring onions, garlic, mint, coriander, that is amazing. And like Gokhan said, it's to a point where it's actually a little bit spicy. That is delicious. Mix it. So I've mixed the, they recommended we mix the lentils with the chutney and you get a unique taste. Delicious. You looked at it. When I am eating, you shouldn't look away. Especially if I like something. Clean place. Clean How many place. out of 10? A 10 out of 10, definitely. And this is, I know the taste of it. It's halwa made from sugar and semolina. But the only difference between this one and the one we make in Turkey is the color. This is hot, fresh to make, daily, and it's like complimentary. Wow. This is so good because it's not over sweet. This is really good. When you have something spicy, it just cools you down. This is good. We came to Kesar Daddaba to try their famous Chabati Roti. This place has been open over 100 years and it's seriously busy on a really tiny Bekale road and we couldn't find here if it wasn't our tuk tuk driver. And this is the and this is where all of the work takes place here in the kitchen. It's huge! So this is the lady preparing all the food. You can see the where the breads are cooked here. Hello, hi. I'm eating all the bread. Better dog. All the dog. Better dog paratha. Ah, the dog paratha. This is alo paratha. Yes, alo paratha. This one taking this one. This is plain paratha. Let's try one. Wow. So many. So so many. They've got such a selection of bread, they've got them all around. Desi ghee. Desi ghee? Ah. Yeah, I mean. Ah. Hot, hot. Oh, very hot. Very hot. Very hot. Thank you, thank you. in here and then we have these these stoves are really warm and they're just left to cook the various dishes thank you and look at this pot this is the guy this is him making the famous lentils where all the action takes place. This smells amazing. Kate told me, this is what am I getting? This is what I'm getting. I'm like, no. 
This is what I'm getting. Chapati Tali. Wow. So many things. But this, wow. Steam's still coming out. I'm gonna go for straight in the action with chickpeas. That's a big one. This chickpeas come in love with. This looks so delicious. Mm. Cumin seeds, chicken, and turmeric as well. And the chickpeas are so soft. It's melting your mouth. And the gravy is so rich. But the way they cook it, the chickpeas, is unreal. It's so delicious. And this one here, made with lentils. Lentils. Yeah. And lentils. Yeah, black lentils. It's called dal fry. It's a dal fry. This is what they're actually really famous for here, and it's cooked for 12 hours. The olive oil on the top makes a perfect combination again. Uh, cumin seeds and masala seeds as well in there. It kicks in straight away and turmeric is actually so strong inside it and it's so delicious. It's cooked 12 hours now I know why it's make it like really soft. I'm just gonna try it on its own. That is really nice. But what about this? Lime chutney with onion, I'm gonna go for it, but I wanna try this. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Chickpeas. <laughs> Tastes like yogurt. Tastes like Tastes yogurt. Like yeah. We think it's called Chana Pan, but we're not sure if that's what it is. So please, could you let us know the name of this in the comments? That's really nice, that. Yeah? But this one is, is my favorite. favorite. A little bit of onion. Mm. Wish that was on the onion. It's really nice, but Ooh, radish. Radish. Yeah. That is, that's getting better now. I want you to try some and then see what you think. So me and Gogo, we absolutely love lentils and I'm really looking forward to these famous ones. That is so creamy, so rich and you can taste lots of cumin in there, lots of cumin. As much as I love bread, I could just eat a whole bowl of this. This is yummy. Mm. Rich tomato. The lentils are just cooked to perfection. But let's get stuck in with this bread. Very, very crunchy. Very flaky. And I'm going to try some of this chickpea. Just look at that. That chickpea is really good. Okay. I love lime pickles. 
pickle. So I'm going to have a taste of this radish. So our radishes back in the UK are like a pinky purple colour and they're small, around about this big. So inside the radish is white but the outside is purpley pink. And I'm going to give a tiny little try to this one. That one's not my favourite, but I kind of expected that. For me, the highlight of the show is definitely these lentils. How many out of ten? Eight. Eight. It was good, it was really good. Yeah. But it wasn't the best. I'm looking for the best. What would you say the best? What would have made it better? Onions with no lime pickle on it. <laughs> I'm serious, like serious. The onions, raw onion, just lemon, no pickle. No chutney or anything, just plain onions and radish. Yeah. But what would it be best? It's not, it's just like today's break, like first thing I had today was 10 out of 10. And that was really good, but this is good. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. And I would say for me, I loved the, um, the lentil. The lentils, they were delicious. Chickpeas were good, and the pickle, I really liked that. The yogurt chickpeas were for me. But for me, the chapati was a little bit dry. I don't know if it's meant to be like that. I didn't feel like the chapati was my favorite bread. So whether or not it's just the choice that we made, but I personally, I've eaten chapati before, and for me, it wasn't the best. It was a little bit hard and dry. Right. I think what happened when you are so busy, you just make it on a cereal cooking and don't give too much attention on the details. Mm. This is what happened. It's good. I'm not playing, like putting a bad comment on this place. It was really good, but it could be better. Agree. All this time we've been in India, I tried to escape, but now I'm gonna try it. So, as you know, if you've seen any of our previous videos, we were talking about the pan and trying to understand it because we don't have it back in the UK. Or so I think, I think we don't. So it's something completely new for us. And somebody had said, oh, you have to be careful because you can be addictive and you have to know which kind of pan to have. So eventually, you guys have been such a great help and advised us that we need to have sweet pan. Or fire pan. Or fire pan, which I would love for Gokhan to try. But what is in fire pan? That's the important That's not important. I'm that sure is... it's fine for him. So we're going to go over to this famous pan shop. Hello, hi. And this is the different pans which this gentleman has. He's got mango, orange, strawberry, sweet pan, smoke pan, fire pan, all different ones. Chocolate pan. So, and he's established in 1951. And we hear you've got a famous collection of pans that you make. So, Gokhan, I think you should do the fire one. Yeah, with no tobacco in it. Yeah, no it, tobacco. Yeah. Fire pan, no tobacco. Yeah. Fire pan, sweet pan. Sweet pan. Sweet pan, yeah. Fire sweet pan. pan, strawberry. It could be sweet pan. Yeah, strawberry, sweet, fire sweet pan, pan, sweet. Sweet pan. I can eat. Yes. 
You might want to put your water down. Why? Is there going to be fire? Yeah, in case you set on fire, I need it. Oh my to God. put you out. So you're going to do the fire one? Yeah. So this is the man's leaves here that he's got. Beetle. Beetle, Beetle leaves here. And this is all the ingredients here that he's got. That knife is so sharp. Yeah, so sharp. Sweet sopari. Sweet sopari. Cherry. Cherry. Soap. Chuhara. Gulkand. Ah, flowers. 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 Good. Rose flowers. Rose flowers. Good flower. Rose. Rose flowers. Rose. Gulkand. Gulkand is rose. Yeah, I know. Rose. I guess because gul is rose in Turkish. Sugar. Nariel. Coconut. 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 The one thing I don't really like. No, there's it's two kisses and a seed in there as well. No, Muriti powder. That is going to be disgusting. Do you want me to do it? No. Sugar? Sugar, no. No? Brass. 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 It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Brass. Ah, stand there. Oh my god. What's going on? It's gonna go in your mouth. Hello, hello. Is it good? Yeah? Uh, can I do also? Go pan? Mm -hmm. I want to do it because it's one of those experiences that I might never get the chance again so i'm gonna do it and just experience this do you think yeah i'm gonna do it why not do you like it keep chewing he's gonna have to spit it in the bin i won't i won't show you that bit but he's spit it in the bin that was disgusting It's the aniseed for me. Oh, see, I love yeah. aniseed, so I think I'm going to really like this. Yeah. Oh, and I love rose as well, so I think I'm going to like it. Yeah, aniseed for me. I am so sorry. If it wasn't aniseed, that's really nice, but aniseed just puts me off. That must be what makes it go on fire. The men on fire. Oh, white. Alright. Good thing, good thing. Good girl. Good. I can't speak. Thank you. Did you pay? Yeah.
Now I've got to say, I actually enjoyed that. It was a bundle of flavours. Your mouth doesn't burn when he has that fire. Um, but the problem is, it's so big. Like you've literally got a mouthful that you can't enjoy chewing it because it's so big in your mouth. But I love the flavours, the rose and the anises. I think they were like fennel seeds, the cherry. All delicious for me. I love those flavours. Gogo doesn't like them. But I loved it apart from it. If it was half the size, I would have ate a lot and carried on chewing, but I had to spit it in the bin as well. So. And that was only 50 rupees as well. It's not a really expensive. If it wasn't fennel seed, I would definitely enjoy it. It's just one thing I would never eat is the fennel seeds. It's just like I can't have it. But it was good, different experience. But next time we could ask him not to put them in if you wanted to do it again. <laughs> Look at these little bubbles. Yeah, that was another problem as well that he couldn't speak English so we couldn't have the, what we don't want in the pan. Well, we didn't know. Yeah, we, didn't we didn't know, know. what was going to go in there. So if we didn't know, we could maybe say. Yeah. One thing we've got to say about Amrissa that we've noticed is that there's an awful lot of dogs that look like they're stray. So if you're from Amrissa, can you tell us what, how come that is? Is it just that it's over run with uh, stray dogs? Because we've noticed lots and lots. And through the night, our hotel's very central. And um, through the night, you can hear the little dogs as well. It doesn't bother us, and we love seeing dogs. And they've all been very, very friendly. You want tuk-tuk? <laughs> All the dogs have been extremely friendly. Yeah. But they do seem quite nervous of people, which especially is quite strange, especially children. Yeah. So we, we don't understand that. But we're just taking a wander. The best way to cool you down is Lassie. And we are here in Gianni Punjabi Lassi, the famous one. It looks really busy. If you, if you can see it in between all of the, the rickshaws. And what are you going to try? The La famous Punjabi La Lassi. That's the one. <laughs> if we can crash the boat. I'm going there. I'm going there. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Uh, hurry up! Here we have it! Here you do it! He's a Mr. Happy Man! Very happy! Can we have Lassie? One, one, one. Thank you! This is very very thick cream. I'm guessing it's cream. I'm gonna have to try with the top one because I seen him putting up there and it looks so thick. Mm. Very buttery. Very buttery. Oh wow. Wow. Is it sweet? Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Yeah. I want you to try. So we were recommended to try a Mr. Lassi and everybody said that Punjabi Lassi is different from anywhere else. So that's why we were really keen to come along. And this place is a really famous Lassi fish. You can see just how busy it actually is. It's definitely sweet. I need you to help me with the cream. Thank you. Oh, look at this cream. This looks amazing. 
The cream is not sweet. It's just buttery. So good. Look at that. On a heavy cup as well. Lots of lassie in there. Huge cup. It is a full glass and it's only 60 rubies. Wow, 60 rubies? I'm just mixing it up. Mixing the cream with the lassie and I want to taste it like that. And I want to go for it like it's really nice. It's really nice. The cream is like tasty. It's very buttery and thick. This is very refreshing. It's like one way to continue your day. I guess it's good for digestion as well. I'm really enjoying this. Love you, Amrista. Amritsa. Amritsa. It's been a lovely day today and it still continues. And the sun is actually so powerful, right on the top, crystal clear air. What else do you want? Delicious food, delicious drink, sweet drinks. In love with this city. And just like that, it's the evening, but the eating's not over. We are heading out to try, hopefully, some tandoori chicken. Which Amrista is famous for. And I am seriously looking forward to it. I so I'm craving for chicken, tandoori chicken. And I've been told Amrista has the best tandoori chicken. And we are we are on our way. Yeah. Well, watering already. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we give you a little look from our little um, neighborhood? Neighborhood where we are. and it is the most amazing little hotel inexpensive but the lady owner is just so amazing she runs everything and she just is so caring she's really looked after us um, and it's a great location you can walk to the bus stop there's little rickshaws or tuk-tuks outside um, and we've had a fantastic stay here in Amrista. I was I want to make sure like I wanna say something. The lady owner, Manju, she makes sure the hotel is clean as it's well. Like spotless clean. Yeah. She is so good at running that hotel. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I need my glasses. I have the menu, but I can't see nothing on it. So I believe I brought them in. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Bira Chicken. Ooh. That page is not for me. <laughs> non veg. <laughs> non veg. <laughs> non veg, yeah. Okay. Roast chicken. Malai tikka, mutton tikka, chicken tikka, shish kebab, chicken chum, fish tikka. Thank you. Ooh. He's got lots of onions. Onions. In the onions makes me happy. Okay, and this place is famous with chicken kebabs, roast chicken, tikka kebabs, fish. You all know me now. I love chicken, so I'm gonna go for chicken. 
but which one is wow that is so soft that is really soft and smells really nice i'm gonna go with the wing first Is it juicy? It is so juicy. A little bit spicy. But man, it is so delicious. Really delicious. You get a kick of peppers. You get a kick of some tikka, I think. But spice level is just right and so tender so juicy so delicious this chicken is like wow and we've got um, roti and naan fucking naan and roti yeah mm. now what about this sauce i think this is what you should do with this sauce right even if you're not what well, this is what you should do this is what i do my way this is my way of eating this chicken. If this is a common thing, then yeah. If no one does it, get in. Oh, oh this bread meets with the sauce. Radish, onion, chicken. Mm. You know, the best way to describe this food, the happiness. There is a party going on inside my stomach now because this is heaven. <laughs> Yes, mate. I can't talk. Maybe because he's put that much in his mouth. But you know me. I am enjoying it. This is what I do when I enjoy the food. Hand rub. It's good. It's getting a hand rub. It got it. Chicken's getting a hand rub. Chicken is heaven. But the this one. The bread is so good. The naan is delicious. It's so light and flaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And some sauce. That sauce is addictive, isn't it? Yes, yeah. I thought it was gonna be something like chutney. I'm glad it's not like that, so I can enjoy some sauce in this country. Another big bite from Gogo. <laughs> Nothing gets wasted. The bones literally get sucked and cleaned by Gogo. A lot of people have said in the comments Gogo's like an Indian. <laughs> Let us know what you think. <laughs> it was my chicken. Or oh, just a little chicken. That's not my plate, they didn't clean it before. <laughs> it is your plate. He's had a whole chicken. A whole chicken. We're really happy because the driver is um, we've been I've been out and checked just to make sure and he's 
got like a takeaway. He wants to take it home and share it with his family. Yeah, so I've made sure that he's um, ordered whatever he wants, but he was very shy and, you know, maybe that's not something normal. We don't want to offend him, but sometimes it's nice to just be kind. Um, and not for any reason, I'm sure he's got his own food, but it's nice sometimes to have a treat. We all love a treat. This boy loves a treat. How many out of ten? Fifty thousand. Um, actually, not gonna lie, the chicken is my favorite meat anyway, but this is so delicious, cooked to perfection, the spice level is perfect, the tender, juicy, bread was the perfect amount. Well, I didn't overeat with the full chicken, because Kay had the, more than half of it. We all believe him. We believe him. But he did well the boy eating a whole chicken armor. What is next? Bed. So it is good night from us and good night from Amrista. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of our new subscribers and make sure that you stay tuned for the amazing adventure that we have coming up. We'll leave you hanging as to what it is, but we're flying somewhere very special. So it's bye from K and bye from Coco with the final word. The final word. I am over the moon, I'm happy, I'm really happy, I had a really, really, really good dinner. Amritsa, you are amazing. It's time to go, but I'm definitely coming back here. Thank you very much. This is the bread here, they get made in here. Ah, inside. Ah, very good. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you.